then so first video review for this week is for Kitten Part 3 Femme Vements by Shardafo. Um, if you want to check out my Goodreads review, I did just post that the other day. So if you're on YouTube, there's a link in the description below. And if you are on Facebook or on my blog, then there's a link within the post. And this is the video review. So Kitten Part 3 Femme Vements. I hope I'm saying that right because I don't think I said it right originally and I still have no idea how to say it. Um, but that is what it is. Um, and I'm going to keep calling it Kitten Part 3 because I like that better. Um, so it's always fun and games with Ray. Like, I'm not kidding. I've read Kitten, I've read Kitten Part 2, I've now read Kitten Part 3, and I'm telling you, it's always fun and games with Ray. Maybe not your idea of fun and games, but definitely fun and games. Um, Ray, she's kind of experiencing um, a new level of drama in her life, um, and she's dealing with all the fun that comes with having a teenager. I love that, it was so good. Um, and with new girl Blake in town, um, Ray faces many new challenges. Um, if you've read the other books in the kitten series, you'll know what Ray's like with strangers. Um, so Blake sort of brings her part, uh, brings with her a past, you know, one that Ray um, is kind of curious of, but kind of wary of at the same time. And she endeavours to take the very troublesome Blake under her wing. Um, as she sort of, she really admires Blake's confidence. Um, but when Blake's uh, being in town brings new dramas and new problems and threats to Ray's door, obviously um, she has to work to overcome it with all the same strength as she did in the past and, and will she be able to is, is the main sort of premise of what you're thinking the whole time you're reading a book so it was great to be back in Ray's world it really was um it's always fun like I say and she just deals with all the craziness and drama that lands in her lap um no matter what she just she just gets on with it Ray she does she has a few little freak outs but she definitely gets on with it and life just keeps throwing problems at her I really felt sorry for her um in this because some if the problems were more personal than others and I completely admired her once again for just she just faced it all head on she didn't sit and wallow in it she just got on with it um, and you'd really want Ray in your corner if you had problems because she just knows how to help she knows what to do for the best and even when she gets it wrong she she, she has a few guys in she, she eventually figures it out for you um, but Shara included some great moments in this story I mean she really tested Ray's patience um, and with her daughter and Blake and Ruby she was really coming at it with all angles she really could and Ray was up against it like really up against it and I loved how all the twists and turns um, showed how sick fate's sense of humour can be for people um, like Ray and um, Ray has never had it easy never ever had it easy and yet she still gets up she tries she keeps on trying she she does her best for herself for her family and the tension between her and Blake just made the whole story a thrill it just gave it that gave it the ups and downs it needed to really just make it something only Ray could get caught up in like literally this is something only Ray could only Ray could get caught up in this and um it was just filled with great surprises and it was another fantastic story to give further insight into Ray's world and it was a great addition to the Kitten series um, which is one of my favourite series, I absolutely love it um, it's something unique and different and it just there's nothing else like it and I just love it so much um, Ray is truly unique as a character, her whole world is unique, it's completely different and it's exciting just to get like this snippet into her world and everything that she has going on so I highly recommend um, the kitten series uh one two and three and um if you haven't read the rest of the series uh you could you could read this without having done so Charles done it so you will understand the backstory uh she gives good insight into ray's past so you don't have to have read kitten one two and the other bits that go with it uh, to understand this book but um it, it would benefit you to read them because then you get a real idea and sense of ray as a character and her whole world and I just hope we get to see more from Ray in the future because I don't think I don't think her fun and games and adventures over. Um, her story is far from over, and I'm really looking forward to more of it. Um, she's Shah's best character. I absolutely love her, and you can tell Shah puts a lot of heart and soul into these stories, and they're well worth your time giving them a read. They are a lot of fun, and they will keep you entertained for ages. Um, I really loved it. So I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of Kitten Part three femme vehemence which i hope you will um, if you've read kitten part three femme vehemence i would love to hear from you please get in touch comment below um, let me know what you thought of the story or just the kitten series i'd love to talk to you about it um, and if you haven't read it yet but it's on you to be read list or you're planning to read it or you're hoping to read it uh, now because you're intrigued as to what it's all about again it would be great to hear from you so please get in touch um, and if you do read it i hope you enjoy it bye